up cowboy fans and youtubers is that va dallas cowboy fan coming back at you thank you for liking sharing subscribing and commenting down below i do these videos for me and you and they're a little bit therapeutic you know it's nice to let out your feelings you know coming into a game against the rams where we blew it the last couple times against the rams yeah i'd like to get this win this sunday in fact I think if we just win our last two home games, period, this season, we should get into the playoffs. But that's up to the Cowboys, right? Uh, Jason Garrett tried to show them a motivation tape from last year, saying that they can be better. They've shown they can be better. Uh, good luck, because I think the team has just checked out. So I don't know how much this motivation vi uh, video will help them. It'd be nice if it does. Uh, let's see. Practice news. Sean Lee and Van Der Esch are not practicing currently. We'll see at the end of today. Uh, more than likely, Sean Lee will be out as well. Which isn't really hurting the defense because he hasn't brought much to the defense <laughs> since he's been starting. So, that's not going to hurt us too bad. Uh... Everybody else is pretty much practicing. Uh, all the guy Antoine Woods is coming back. Jeff Heath is coming back. Uh, who's the other guy? Uh, Tony Pollard is uh, coming back. He should be healthy to go. So we'll see. You know, we can only take what we can get. You know, hopefully people are healthy and hopefully we get us a win, right? That's all we asked for. Uh, Jerry Jones going out on all these news outlets, opening his freaking mouth, you know, basically undermining the team is getting kind of ridiculous. He needs to stop, but I don't think he can get out of his own freaking way to basically make this team any better because that would admit failure. And he never wants to admit failure. So Jerry Jones is the one at the top crippling his own team. But he'll never figure that out because he's got too much pride and ego. So we're probably going to stay a middling team until he stops middling. <laughs> uh, what else? Brett Maher tried out with the uh, Tennessee Titans, I do believe, uh, for their kicking spot. Good luck. I don't know if he was picked up or not yet. Uh, I know he was in there for a workout, but seeing how their kicker is actually worse than him this year uh it'd be an upgrade not much but something better than what they had and since they're already on winning streaks anyway it's not going to hurt them to upgrade their little kicking game uh what else oh yeah stop all the mess on Dak Prescott I'm sick and tired of seeing these articles about what he's worth what he's not worth I know he's the quarterback of the biggest franchise in the world, but to keep making articles about basically anything he does other than when we're playing is starting to get ridiculous. Yeah, everybody wants to argue about if he's worth the money or not, and, you know, all the haters jump out there. It's funny because they always want to say they'll take golf or Wentz over Dak any day, yet Carson Wentz is pretty much the same record as us, so I don't see how he's much better than Dak. I mean, people keep making up excuses. He's inaccurate. Uh, he holds the ball too long. Uh, he's missing his reads. He's doing this, that, and the other. Yet yeah, every quarterback in the league does that, but you don't care. Place is flooding, basically. And it's just getting stupid that we're still arguing about is he worth the money? Everybody else got theirs. Let the man get his. Stop being a pain about it. Jesus Christ. If y'all think that his camp actually told the Cowboys he wants $40 million, you're crazy. Somebody made up that report because the man ain't said jack about his contract and neither has the Cowboys. So people just making up stuff to basically piss off the fan base. And that's exactly what's happening. I've actually seen people comment saying trade him away from Matthew Stafford. What has he proven? He hasn't done anything, but you want to trade away Dak for him. Like, people are just ridiculous. They just want something to argue about, and this is the world we live in. Back in the 80s, 90s, they'd have paid Dak already. 
for doing what he's doing. If he was on par with any other quarterback in the league, he'd have made his money the same as everybody else. Plus, there wouldn't be all this social media and talking heads putting filth in your brains to make you think he's not doing his job. But that's the world we live in now. Everybody's got an opinion. We respect it. And that's why they're called haters. <laughs> because there's nothing statistic-wise to say he's bad. And everybody wants to blame the current uh, record of 6-7 and seven on him. That's great. You want to blame Dak when he loses, but when he wins, you're saying it's Zeke Elliott, who hasn't done anything. So it's funny how that works. You know? But... I just wanted to do that quick little update for now because I haven't dropped any videos in a couple days since that mass exodus of videos on uh, earlier this week. So I thought I'd give you one. I'm probably going to try and do another movie reaction video. Uh, hopefully this weekend or whenever I can get some time off. Uh, I've already got my tickets for Star Wars. So I can give a review on that. Uh, that's pretty much it from the land of the Cowboys. Bad coaching, bad player execution, bad ownership. We win or lose. We can't get too riled up about it either way. So just be happy we have a team to root for. My daughter's out here mumbling words. Like down below. <laughs> also comment if you want to. Subscribe. And thank you again for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below like you said. Y'all have a good Friday. Uh, it's raining here and it's cloudy. But it's warmer than most. So y'all have a good one. Peace.